Honor Club, where honor is real. Ring of Honor Come fans, it's Watch another this. happy hour with the bouncers. I'm the Beer City Bruiser, and of course, the the huggable, lovable, heartthrob of the bouncers, Brian Malonis. Brian, what's up, man? You know, I'm, uh, I don't know, Bruiser, I'm a little down, man. I'm trying. I'm trying my damnedest. What do you mean? What's, what's got you down, buddy? You know what's got me down. Martina, I mean, it's like, yeah. it's like I don't exist. You know what? This week's guest is going to help you forget about Martina because it's a guy that we've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with in the ring. We beat the hell out of each other and then also enjoyed a couple good beers afterwards. And when I contacted him, he couldn't wait to drink beer with the bounces one more time. I'm talking about none other than the chicken himself. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Briscoe. Chicken, what's going on, my friend? Look at him. Pound that beer. <laughs> my boy. How we How's doing today? Oh, chicken, we're doing good. How are you? No, I, I'm doing just fine. Just uh, enjoying life, my man. Hey, Mark, bring me a bear, please. You're <laughs> <laughs> getting those youngins ready, huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, look, the, hey, look, the whole crew. Mark, whole thank you very much. All look right. at that. You got my man here. Look at him. Look Big at that. Boy. Hey, You got a litter there. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, hey, it went on the way. Oh, well, congratulations, my friend. I'm yes, sure the Ring of Honor lucky, fans are going to love that. Lucky number six. <laughs> six. Oh, my God, six. So are you trying to have as many kids as you and your brother have had tag team championships or what? Well, I, I, I see. Now, I don't know about all that. It's the Bear City Bruiser, but uh, we got uh, number six on the way, and we take over right to death. That, that's awesome, man. Congratulations. Look at that one. That, Oh yeah, he's he's a host. My dad says because we had three girls, then we had Mark Jr., who's a who's a, a wiry, skinny, feisty lad, and then this is Malcolm, and he look at these paws. He's a bear, I'm telling you. <laughs> he is a hoss. My dad said he said I think this is the pup you've been looking for, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, is there any uh, chances that? Uh, any of them going to be getting in the business like you, my friend? Are oh, I think I, I know that my oldest Marley, she's uh, she's she's getting the itch, and so yeah. yeah. But I think I would say probably ninety-five to hundred percent of them, probably <laughs> if I had to guess, <laughs> might go. be one that straggles off into something else. But <laughs> <laughs> I got I got a question for you, Chicken. Now, mm -hmm. uh, you and your brother. Uh, I think, without a doubt, um, the greatest tag team, Ring of Honor history. In my estimation, Thank I think you. you guys are the best tag team on the planet, bar none, anywhere in the world. Thank what you. keeps you guys going at this point? You're I mean, 11-time tag team champions. Like, what is it? What keeps you hungry? The love of the game, man. This pro wrestling, this is what we all wanted to be when we was kids. Like, shoot, I mean, what else? The same thing that kept us hungry? When we came in, hey, tomorrow, actually, tomorrow, 20 year anniversary. Well, congratulations, congratulations. my friend. Drink Thank to you. that. Hey. Drink yeah, let's drink to that. Cheers. Yes. And you know what, Mark, in, in those 20 years, you faced numerous opponents, some of them from some uh, international stars, haven't you? Yes, sir. Very, very many, very many international stars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking of international stars, hey, Bruiser, don't you and old uh, Session Ball Martina, ain't y'all got something going on? What's going on with that, man? <laughs> I knew it. No. I knew it. Brian, nothing going on between me and Session Moth. That's all you. Shaking notes. It, she's a, she likes to steal my beer. Brian's trying his best. Hashtag give Brian a chance on Twitter, right, Brian? Come this on. Is, you know what? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I've been trying to get Martina to notice me, and she's been so obsessed with you. One of the Briscoes we even noticed that Mark Briscoe comes on our show and talks about something going on with you and Martina. You know what? I'm done with this. I'm done hey, with Malone this. Is, Today's Malone is my day. Malone, Malone is Bruce Bruce is a handsome yeah, man. Yeah, no, but no, he, no. You know what? On. You know but what? I get it. You both, well? you both got the no teeth thing going on. I get it. I'm, yeah, I'm done. I'm out of here. All right. No. Yeah. Well, we just no. lost him. Yep. Chicken, we just lost him. He's gone. Dang, he, Bruce. Well, so what are we going to do? Well, we're going to drink some more beer, and then we're going to say goodbye to the fans. We just can't keep this interview segment down. So, Chicken, let's all raise a beer. Fans, I've been the Beer City Bruiser. That's Mark Briscoe. Cheers.
think of our history, there have been many great feuds, many great rivalries, and some of these rivalries and feuds go above and beyond to where it gets a little dangerous, a little violent, a little bloody. Rivalries like CM Punk and Samoa Joe, and Brian Danielson and Homicide, and the All Night Express and Kenny King and Red Titus, and them boys, Jay and Mark Briscoe. See, what started as a little squabble at Manhattan Mayhem turned into an all-out nationwide riot. We fought each other all over the country. We fought each other in tag matches, singles matches, handicap matches, handcuff your partner to a pole matches. We hit each other with tables and chairs and eventually ladders. Ladder War 3 was the only ladder war up until that point in history that wasn't fought for an actual title. We wanted to tear each other apart so bad that we only fought for the number one contenderships hanging above that ring. This match is so violent. This match is so brutal. It's so bloody. We can't even show it to you in its entirety.